You're back again? Oh, shit. I finally realized the true reason why. You just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I could fight someone who feels this way. But mostly, I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna fight the virus. So, <laughs> we lose them enough times, we'll just give up. I like the song too much. But yeah, hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Undertale. I noticed my HP is 30 over 20. You spend the night at the inn, they actually heal you, and then they give you more health. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not today, Papyrus. I'm gonna dab some bone cologne. I can almost taste my future popularity. I so butchered his voice now, but I don't care. Nice try, Peppy. Marinara sauce behind his ear. Papyrus, head of the royal god. Oh, get this fluffy bird garbage out of here. Jeez. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettator. Fluffy bird. Nope. Dang will be really proud of me. Yeah, that was close. Stop it. You know, I swear if I do a no hit run now, I'm gonna be very upset with myself. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh, that is ridiculous. Oh my god, my eyes are adjusting to how slow that is. Ugh. Oh. Attraction slime. My brother, well, he won't change very much. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay, good. No. I would be very upset if I didn't have no hit run right now. I'll have lots of admirers, too, but... Ah, not this flappy bird garbage again. Oh, come on. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? trying really hard to play it cool. Someone like you is really rare. God, I don't know what that was. Okay. Preparing a bone attack. Dating might be kind of hard. After you're captured and sent away. Alright, is that it? Oh, you lying bastard! Trying really hard to play it. Uh, who cares? Give up! Never! Oh god, that was super. Oh god, that was even super. Uh, Papyrus is cackling. Give up or face my special attack! Papuski, oh jeez, I'm low. Uh, this is why I bought all these things. Can I go to page two? Why did I only go to page two? Alright, whatever. Have a nice day. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Have a great and wonderful day. I love it. Yeah! Very soon, I'll use my special attack. Ow. Bowl? Bowl? The virus is dead. Not 
too long and I'll use that special attack. Oh. Still can't. This is your last chance before my special attack. Oh wait, 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 no! <laughs> I thought that was a blue one for whatever reason. My brain did not cooperate. Garbage! Behold! My special attack! And then there's the dog. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You! Stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just have to use a really cool regular attack. Uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. What the hell, Papyrus? <laughs> oh, bonk. Cool. Dude. Okay. Um. 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 God, Papyrus. Did you not? Is that an honor of your brother? Because that looks like it was an honor of your brother. Well, oh, it's clear you can't defeat me. I beat you this time, Papyrus. Yeah, I see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and... My friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? What a loser. Now, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make allowance for you. Well, we! We haven't even had our first date. I've already managed to hit a friend zone. Damn. Who knew uh, all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, we'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everyone loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Is he just flying over me? How, how, Papyrus? Just whoop, 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 just Yoshi right over me. Well, let's go have that date. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. Place I like to spend a lot of time. All right. Uh huh. My house. Good, good, good job, Pyro. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. This rock is covered in sprinkles. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. The dog. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. 
a drum. Bone. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. Oh my, my dog roasting me. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. There's an empty pin, or an empty pie tin in the stove. So he was making pie. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Seggy old couch. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. All right, so it still says the same thing. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics books was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. That's a good joke. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? The door is locked. With flames underneath. What is going on in Sans's room? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Oh god, the virus is gonna take us to the bone zone. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Yeah, it did just happen. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle constructions for critical minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Wait, a dozen? Wait, wait, wait. So you had negative two followers? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Clever. Sans. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Hmm, there's social media here. Isn't that Flagnito? I'm dying found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Yes, it is. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> you mean... It's a beat up pirate flag. Cool. You mean there's a skeleton inside us. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look inside the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Nice. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Clever. So, um, if you've seen everything, you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating starts. Oh god, is it a fight? Dating, start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I mean, you're not wrong. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hood. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, we! I feel so informed! Just egg. The crime where it's actually located, the population's increasing and decreasing. Reel it in. 
What is this, a fishing game? I spotted several doggos, and the weather is sunny. But you're not wrong, it is sunny today. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human! I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Why we? I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Blew his little mind. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> I don't think you've bested me yet. Oh, it's tense. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me out on a date. Behold! The cool dude outfit. <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! He ain't ready. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Hmm. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like cursing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Yep. More biceps. There's no secret to my legs. Just work hard and perseverance. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! Oh, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong. This ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in oak and cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It is time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. Finally. Some good fucking food. Wow. How do you like this? Yeah, it's delicious. Well done. I'm eating the pasta. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Uh, ah! No! My dating power is over 9,000! Human, it is clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um. Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way that you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. 
After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Oh, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> Look at that, motivational papyrus. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah! Awesome. Interesting. That was an interesting date. But yeah. So, I'm gonna leave this episode off here, guys. I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Undertale. Uh, tomorrow should be Thursday, so be ready for Comic Zone. It's a pretty fun episode. I made it decently far, and then kind of hit a wall again. It's, 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 it's a thing. Comic Zone is a fun game, but it's tough. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you all here next time on Let's Play Undertale. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, so that way, whenever I upload a new episode, you guys are already up to date. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.